Hi, my name is Marilyn, and today we'll be unboxing the HP Aruba Networking AP675. If you find this video useful, please click like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. The AP675 has a built-in omnidirectional antenna and is part of the 670 series of Wi-Fi 6E capable outdoor access points from HPE Aruba Networking. Let's get straight to the unboxing. Here you have your startup guide, installation, configuration and safety guide, and warranty information. The unit also ships with a USB-A to USB-C console cable, waterproof gland for your network cable installation, and the grounding lug connector. We will look at the access point a bit later. There is nothing else in the box. The AP675 comes in a weatherproof enclosure and with the mounting attachment already pre-installed. The unit weighs in at 4kg and is quite large since it needs to house three wireless radios as well as Bluetooth and Zigbee. On the side, there is a waterproof plastic cover. You will need a size 8 Allen key to open it. Behind it is the LED light as well as the reset button and the serial port. On the back, you will find the grounding connector into which you should install the grounding lug. Use this to earth the device properly after installation. Let's open all of the waterproof seals and see what's behind them. Here is a 2.5GB multi-rate capable Ethernet port that can be used for data connectivity and is the only way to power up the AP. Please note, you will need a Class 6 PoE capable switch or power injector delivering 45 watts to fully power up this access point. When installing the cable, you should thread it through the waterproof gland before connecting, like so. You may need a licensed electrician or a cabler in order to terminate the cable prior to the installation. This AP has built-in BLE and Zigbee radios, and in addition, comes with USB-A and USB-C ports which can be used to provide IoT connectivity to a wider range of devices. The AP also includes a SFP port, providing optional data connectivity over fiber. Please note that only industrial temperature transceivers should be used and installed in conjunction with the SFP strain relief kit. When using fiber transceivers, you will need to power up your AP through the Ethernet port. There is a range of AC and DC outdoor power injectors that come with surge protection built in. Underneath, there is a removable sticker with your serial number and MAC addresses. Note that the AP675 includes an omnidirectional antenna it is typically mounted with the face pointing down directly above the required coverage area. This AP uses the same mounting bracket options as the Aruba 500 series outdoor APs. Check out our HPE Aruba Networking Outdoor Mounting Brackets video for more details on how you can install this access point. And there you have it. For more information, check out the library via our website link in the description below. If you found the video useful, please click like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. Thank you for watching!